Hello, this is our project for Pop Art Mushroom Sculpture. I want to talk you through the steps so you know what to do when you get your clay. First, we're going to be using clay, and we'll have a few clay tools, mainly uh, paper clips and water, and that water mixed with some of the clay is going to make a slip, and that's going to be part of our project today. Uh, paint. I do have some neon metallic gray. Uh, but I have a few other colors we can use that'll make it right. We do have paintbrushes, and we'll use a little bit of water. All right, let's get started. So vocabulary, I need you to know how to do by the end of this project. Coiling. It's a long roll or cylinder of clay. We're going to be scoring. That means that we're going to do scratch marks on the surface of a piece of clay. Those scratches are made to help keep those two pieces together. Now, that'll be super important. The next one is slip. We're going to use that water and the watery clay that's layered on top of the scoring to help it glue that together. And I'm going to show you on that in a few videos here on our presentation. So number one, step number one, you are going to get two lumps of clay. Uh, roll one into a ball and one into a short coil. And you can see those right there. So both of your clumps of clay will need to do that first. Next, we're going to press them into a ball, and then with your thumb, you're going to stop in the middle. Do not go through it, so that you're going to make that top of that mushroom part. That's for step number two. Number three, we're going to make a hole larger by pulling with the edges towards, uh, towards the outward of your finger. It should look like a little bowl, kind of like this one right over here. Be careful not to let the sides get too thin. Don't do that part. About the thickness of your pinky finger is what we're looking for. So please be generous with the size of it. Next part. We want you to soften the cracks on the edges of the bowl with a little bit of slip. And that means that's clay with water. You can see how that happens in this video right here. Using your fingers to go around the edge will make the clay mold together. Then, step number five, we're going to score it. And that's another word for scratching it. And the inside of the bowl and at the end of the coil. So you can see at the end of your coil you're going to have three or four marks. Um, you're going to use paper clips for this. And same on the inside to make those scratch marks. Now, now step number six. I need you to attach the scored parts together um, with each of the slip with the watery clay. Now you have your mushroom. So that's about halfway done. Our next step on this is we're going to roll another ball, flatten the top and the bottom with the smooth sides to make a fat cylinder. Okay? This will be step number seven. So make it into a ball, and then we're going to make it into that flat cylinder. That's going to look a lot more like this. So how to make a cylinder from a ball. Watch this video. All right, that's how to make a cylinder from a ball. You'll need to do that just like in that example in step number seven. Um, next, step number eight. You are going to roll a thin coil and flatten it. Don't flatten it too much, it will break. And then here's a little video to show you how to roll that coil and then we'll flatten it together here. So I'm gonna play her video. I'm going to roll, turn down her volume, but I want you to see how she flattens out the clay. Just a small part of it. She's using her fingers to make it smaller. Then she's got a little area so she can roll that on there. We're going to do that too. And you want to make sure it's flat. So we're going to use our tables to make sure that flatted area is there. 
uh, clean any debris that's around because we don't want that inside. And she, that's now she's got that coil. Um, now, to make that a little bit flatter, um, you're going to turn it on its side and you're going to keep rolling until it's a coil. So now you've got this long cylinder, and that's about where I need to stop it for you because you, I'm going to go back to our instructions. I'm going to go back to our next step. You're going to roll that coil thin and flatten it. So here is our coil, and you're going to turn it over the flat side for step nine and scratch one side of the coil. That one side is going to go around the edges. And I'll show you how that goes. We'll also score the top of the cylinder to attach the coil to it. Using a little bit of slip, check out their fingers. Um, now you have a little pot of, for your mushroom. So I want you to make yours look like the one on the right hand side. Uh, and we'll have to let that dry. Step number 11. Attach your mushroom to the pot. Don't forget to score the bottom of it and add a little bit of slip. So when we're scoring it, we're scratching it so it'll go together. And you can see how one goes to the next. Now here's the hard part for a lot of people. We have to wait till it fully dries before we can paint it. Now remember, pop art is bright colors and patterns. So I am asking you to have bright colors and a dotted pattern so it looks popish. Okay. Um, things you need to know for vocabulary. Pop art. It's a style of art based simple with bold images and everyday items painted in bright colors. Um, an installation that would be a large created transformed into a space. A sculpture is a type of, type of art which you are making today, and it's built in 3D. 3D is an object that is not flat and has sides. So, I want you to have your best luck at creating this. Thanks for your effort.